What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and today I'm really, really excited because if you use Sketch for Mac and you're like me, you've been waiting for this for a long time. That's right, it's dark mode for Sketch for Mac. It's coming right on the heels of the new Mojave operating system that Apple's releasing, which is allowing for dark mode in all applications. The team over at Sketch have taken advantage of this opportunity and built a really sleek and really nice dark interface that we can switch back and forward from. Don't even have anything else to say. I'm just excited. I just want to dance. I just want to break it down because dark mode is here. Okay, so here we go. First look at Sketch's new dark mode. On the screen, it's not dark at all. It's the same old Sketch for Mac that we all know and love. Although, this is a little bit of a cheat and it's a first glimpse or first kind of glance at the new interface for Sketch 52, which has some noticeable interface changes. And so how do we turn it on? What does it look like? That's what we're gonna be kind of going through my opinions on it as we check the whole thing out. Um, so you would think, maybe uh, that the way to turn it on is to go into your preferences and to check out canvas or general. That is not actually what you do because to run dark mode inside of sketch, you have to have the new Mojave operating system running, uh, which offers native dark mode to all applications. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your system preferences and you're going to want to click on general. And then there it is your options right there to go from light to dark. And this is system one wide, remember that. But right here we're gonna see just about everything, including Finder Windows and Sketch for Mac. Um, all things should go dark when we flip the switch. So ready, let's flip the switch. <laughs> it just went dark mode. I'm in Batman's cave right now. I am Bruce Wayne, but for some reason I'm still designing stuff instead of like fighting crime, so that's wrong. That was really, really nice. Um, everything looks really, really succinct. Everything really like links together. Um, I will say off the bat, just before I do any more switching back and forth, um, it does look like Sketch did a really good job at trying to make their dark mode match the native dark mode um, like as spot on as they possibly could. So it feels really, really native with the operating system. I like that a lot. Just for funsies, let's switch it back and forth a few times, okay? Light, oh, dark. Nice, I like that. There's varying degrees of dark throughout the interface. The canvas is a little bit darker. Um, the layers panel has different varying degrees of darkness to kind of bring that contrast. If we open up a layer, you can see we're still getting some of that varying degrees. It's not like zebra striped or anything, um, but you can get some differentiation between the artboards and the individual layers. I also really, really like the active state of the blue here. You can see on the symbols or the pages. And when I click down on the artboards or or on individual layers, I get that same bright blue active state. That's really, really nice. You'll notice over in the right hand um, kind of properties panel, you get the same thing. Really, really good contrast. A little bit, not as dark as the canvas, but darker in the background of the panel. And you kind of have a crisp outline around each individual um, kind of input field. Um, and the text is not pure white. I almost, I want to say it's like not pure white. Yeah, it's definitely DF. DF, 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 right? Which is like a very, very light, light, light gray, but it pops, right? It stands out, which is really, really nice. You'll notice um, also up here in the tools panel, um, the buttons are neutralized, which I do like neutral icons. I think that, um, you know, they're there, they're present. Um, they are tools to be used, but they don't overwhelm you and take away from the main focus, which should be the work right there in the middle of the canvas. So I think that's really, really nice. Well, uh, oh, I like that when you click on an individual element on your design that you'll notice the tools kind of like pop even brighter, right? So like here they're neutralized and here they're a little bit brighter. So I like that a lot. Um, let's do some drop downs and see what that looks like. If I was gonna insert something, you know, again, the contrast is really, really good. Drop downs over in the property menu, nice and bright, really good. How about our typography? Ooh, I like that. So the typography menu kind of went the other way. It is, again, a little bit darker so that all the visual representations of the typography can actually stand out. So that's nice as well. Yeah, everything just 
looks real good. Let's check the color picker and see how that looks. Yeah, that looks really, really good. I was afraid actually that like some of these interface components like the color picker or like different drop downs were gonna suffer like clarity and, and how I use them, but they don't look bad at all. Like everything looks really, really good. So yeah, I like that. Um, some new icons inside there, kind of for 52, which is nice. I like that. I think the choice of blue is really, really smart. It pops against the dark color. Um, all in all, I really, really like it. I'm really, really excited about it. Um, I don't know what else to say. Dark mode is cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and sketch, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and make sure you check the description for any helpful links that I might have put in there. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and enjoying this newfound freedom and power that you have in sketch dark mode. I'll see you in the next one.